Hey guys, in this video, I am going to share you about the review of this Portronics Luxel wireless mini 10,000 mAh power bank. So in this review, I am going to share you about what is the charging time and uh, so what is the actual uh, usable capacity and next we are going to discuss about the energy loss. Firstly, in this Portronics power bank, in the box, you will get this power bank and then you will get this uh, user manual and then a short length of USB type C to type C cable. So first of all, let's have a look on its design and the build quality. So it fully made of a plastic outer and it's completely a compact in design and it's a pocket friendly. You can easily carry and take this away anywhere. And in the power bank at the top, you can able to see the transparent plastic uh, like that. And inside there is a four LED indicators. And at the back side of the power bank, here is the wireless charging space. Here only you need to do the wireless charging. And at the top, there is some uh, specifications of uh, how much voltage and amps uh, supported for input and output for every ports and at the top of the power bank you can see the usb type a port it's supported with the 22.5 watts output and then usb type c port it is supported with the 20 watts of output with and it also supported with the power delivery pd charging protocol and then uh, there is a uh, wake up button so using this you can uh, once you single press then the power bank will actually turn on and also you can in case if you want to check the battery percentage means you can see the led indicator lights and uh, if you want to turn off double press the wake up button then the power bank will off so overall the design of this power bank is really good and it's uh, sleek compact and it pocket friendly so you can carry it anywhere and overall it's good uh, in terms of uh, design and build quality and next uh, moving on to its uh, charging time so i used this uh, small cable which is given by the brand and you can get this cable in the package itself and i used the adapter called a 20 watts uh, iphone charger and this power bank supported with the input voltage of uh, 5 volt 3 amps and 9 volt 2 amps so which means it approximately supported with the 15 watts to 18 watts but the brand is not mentioned any uh, input fast charging uh, watts like that they said a 20 watts output capacity using a pd charging but when i use this cable and iphone uh, 20 watts uh, adapter so it takes uh, three hours 20 minutes to complete a full charge from 0% to 100% and also I actually charged this power bank using different adapters like a realme charger and a costar 36 watts uh, pd charger so and I used the different cables also some pd cables usb type c to type c so when I use that type of cables and the different adapters it actually charge in a 3 hours 30 minutes sometime it actually takes four hours so the charging time is around three hours to four hours because everyone uses different adapters different cables so the charging time will be three hours to four hours around but you can able to complete the charge in three hours 20 minutes also if you use the charger with a nine volt you have to see the charger whether the charger has a 9 volt 2 amps or 9 volt more than 2 amps like 3 amps like that mentioned on the charger or not if that mention means you can able to charge this power bank within 3 hours 30 minutes and next moving on to its output performance main thing is that it advertised capacity is 10,000 mAh and we are going to uh, talk about what is the usable capacity and energy loss and uh, the charging time for uh, for the devices firstly i am going to tell about the usb type a port it's a 22.5 watts of fast charging and uh, the usable capacity on this uh, port on this usb port is 6500 to 6900 mh the image will actually differs on every cycle i actually tested on totally a 10 different charging and discharging cycle but and but on every cycle on every usb ports the output capacity and the deliverable image will actually differs that's why i am actually telling the range it actually gives 6500 to 6900 mh of deliverable output on the usb type a port and so the, if you take the maximum mh means 7000 mh around so the energy loss is 30 percent which means 3000 mh amount of battery is actually missing the 30 percent is the energy loss the energy loss is actually common in most of the power banks because of because of the heat generation during charging the devices and also during discharging the power bank and charging other devices also that time also you will, there is a heat generation and that is completely due to the during charging there is a voltage conversion there is a internal component resistance so because of these uh, factors you will get the energy loss and the charging time for the usb type a port is 
so the brand is actually telling so if you are actually charging any oneplus whatever device you are charging you have to use the cable provided by that brand for example for oneplus polar i used the oneplus cable the type a to type c cable and used it to charge this oneplus polar so it actually takes one hour 40 minutes to complete this 5500 mh of battery and actually it actually takes uh, to if i use the original charger and the cable means it actually takes only 35 minutes but the power bank is supported with the 22.5 watts as output so it takes one hour 40 minutes to complete the 5500 mh of battery and for usb type c port it's a pd technology supported so you have to use pd technology supported cable so i am using the ambron 60 watt supported pd technology supported type c to type c cable so if you use the uh, respective technology supported cable means then the deliverable image will be much more higher than the if you use a normal cable and also the energy loss will be less for this type c port the deliverable mh is 6400 to 7200 mh around this mh is the usable capacity for this power bank and the energy loss is 28 percentage and the charging speed is 1.5 to 2 hours so if you use a five if you if you charge a 5000 mh battery phone means it maximum takes two hours to complete the full charge and if you ask how many devices can i able to charge means so i given the range 6400 to 7200 mh so if your phone is supported with the 5000 mh battery means you can able to charge your phone from one person to hundred percent one time you can fully charge using this power bank and on the second time you can able to charge around 30 percentage using this power bank and after that the power bank battery will become low and finally on the wireless charging in the wireless charging the energy loss is much more higher than the usb type a and type c port so i used it to charge the iphone 12 and then a galaxy buds 2 pro so it's supported with up to 15 watts of max of charging and i when i charge the iphone 12 it actually charge one percent to 80 percent for three hours the charging time is also higher and also during charging more than medium heat level is there so because of that the energy loss is also higher so the deliverable mah on the wireless charging is 4800 to 5000 mh so the energy loss is around 50 percentage so out of 10,000 mAh, only 5,000 mAh is actually delivered on the wireless charging. And apart from this, in this power bank, you can able to charge three devices at the same time. You can use the USB Type-A port, Type-C port, and also you can charge using wirelessly at the same time. But you have to notice that the charging speed will be lesser if you use all the ports at the same time and also the energy loss will be higher so the deliverable mh will be lower only if you use all the ports at the same time and uh, next one is that in this power bank uh, there is a uh, charging pass through feature also so during charging your power bank you can uh, take the usb type a port to charge your uh, smartphone also so at a time you can charge both power bank and uh, mobile phone also but the charging speed will be standard only so you'll not get the fast charging like that but over the night you can able to charge both power bank and your smartphone so it will be useful for you to use it in your next day well that's it on this Portronics Luxel wireless mini power bank review well what are your guys thoughts on this and if you're already using this power bank uh, let me share how much uh, usable capacity you are actually getting how many devices you can you can able to charge using this 10,000 mh power bank so let me share your experience in the comment section below and also if you still not uh, subscribe to our channel means subscribe to our channel and if you like this video hit the like button and uh, thanks for watching this video guys Thanks.